on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos. All right, my dear, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial, you are going to learn about compressibility and bulk modulus. All right. I hope if you understood, I mean, if you have studied about thermo, uh, not thermodynamics, basically, you have studied about strength of material, then definitely you have heard about this term that is bulk modulus. Sometimes students also come to know whenever they study about uh, uh, engineering mechanics or mechanical uh, elements or basic of mechanical engineering, they come to know about bulk modulus, okay? But don't worry, I'll share with you compressibility and bulk modulus. So before going to share with you what is compressibility, let me share with you about bulk modulus. So what is basically bulk modulus? Let's do talk on this topic. Bulk modulus. It is the ratio of what change in pressure upon volumetric strain. What is that? Change in pressure upon volumetric strain. So this is the formula as you can write the definition for bulk modulus is like this. It's the ratio of change in pressure upon volumetric strain. So what is basically strain change in any quantity or dimension upon original dimension. So here volume we are considering that's why it would be word change in volume upon original volume of that particular uh, space or right, bulk modulus it is denoted by what K. All right. Now let's understand this from practical example. That's why we'll come to know the real uh, mathematical formula of bulk modulus from practical approach. All right. Let's say we are having a bucket and we are putting here very closely. This is close and uh, you know disc is there. In the bucket we have filled gas. Okay, gas. The volume, this is a volume, volume of the bucket initially V i and here pressure is P i. When we are putting pressure P i, there is no change in the volume. But whenever we are increasing pressure, there is change in volume. How it is happening? Well, if I put pressure, this side will happen. It will try to push and the volume will decrease. Now, we have to draw that condition as we are increasing pressure. So, let's say the increasing pressure is P f. Now, from the equation, we can say that PF is greater than what? PI. Now, what we volume? Volume is what? VF. Alright. Now, you can see here that VI is greater than VF. Now, if we'll find out change in volume, because in case of volumetric strain, we have to find out what change in volume upon original volume. Let's say original volume is V. Here, what we got? VI. Let's say V, okay, VI is equal to V. Change in volume VF minus VI or V is equal to what? Minus DV because this is small, this is big. So small minus big is equal to minus DV. Now, volumetric strain be what? Minus DV upon D and change in pressure DP is equal to PF minus PI. So this will become in positive. So the formula we got here that is what DP upon, yeah, you can see DP upon minus DV upon V for bulk modulus, which is denoted by K. Okay, so this is all about what bulk modulus. Now come to the next term that is what compressibility. Well, that there is a awesome relation between both terms. Okay, now actually compressibility compressibility is equal to one upon what bulk modulus so it is a reciprocal thing right so we can write it like this dv by v is equal to dp is known as what compressibility now let's look at what let's look at si unit of bulk modulus so we know the formula dv upon v strain no unit no dimension pressure unit is what pascal pascal p a s e l or p a or you can write this newton per meter square now let's see the si unit of compressibility as it is a reciprocal of bulk modulus therefore its si unit will be what reciprocal of it so it would be what meter square upon newton as simple as that to understand both the terms. Now I will share with you most important key points which will definitely help you in the complete examination if, if they will ask you little bit 
from depth now for a perfect gas we have to consider for a perfect gas all right k is equal to p final for isothermal process for isothermal process if you haven't watched my thermodynamics videos must go for it because I have already shared with you isothermal process, adiabatic process, ascentropic process, polytropic process, all processes in super simple way. That's why you can understand about it, right? Now, for K is equal to gamma, here gamma is not density. I will tell you what is gamma. P final for isentropic, isentropic process. So, by the way, gamma is not density. What is it? Specific heat ratio let me share let me write specific heat ratio which is equal to cp upon cv already share with you what is this gamma all right um, so this is actually gamma now this is density i mean uh, rho i'm considering but i must say that this is gamma not uh, what not uh, uh, density right? i mean not rho so this is with gamma okay gamma is equal to cp upon cv all right so this is all about this uh, uh, tutorial i hope you got some inside information from this video tutorial thanks for watching thank you very much hope to see you soon in my next video tutorial all right bye bye